Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's member spotlight. Uh, today we have the pleasure of speaking to Carmen Sharp of the uh, Hanover Insurance Group. Uh, Carmen is a vice president of workers' compensation and personal injury protection claims, medical strategy, and shared services. Uh, in her position, Carmen leads workers' compensation and personal injury protection claims and case management, managed care, and cost containment strategy for all casualty lines. Medical uh, Medicare Secondary Payer Center of Excellence and Shared Services and Claims for all lines of business, including new claim intake, claims administrative support, compliance and quality assurance functions, and she's responsible for two billion incurred on workers' compensation portfolio of 65,000 active insured. She also served uh, on the uh, board of directors. Uh, for the Workers' Compensation uh, Research Institute. So it's with great pleasure uh, I welcome Carmen Schaap. How are you, Carmen? I'm doing well. Thank you, Andrew. Um, so, Carmen, as you know, in uh, member spotlights, we ask four questions uh, of our valued members. And so if it's okay with you, we'll jump right into it. And uh, just like to find out, how did you first learn about WCRI? Sure. So that was about 15 years ago, I'd say. I was in a product development role. And as you know, the board of WCRI is composed of a diverse set of individual stakeholders from various parts of the work comp system. Uh, so I was invited in uh, to sort of represent the, the product development side of things. Um, and it really got a, a close look at the mission of WCRI, the research, the insights that it creates. Uh, both within the, the work comp industry and, and outside with important stakeholders like legislators and regulators. Uh, so the more that I learned, the more impressed I became. Uh, so I'm a big fan. Fantastic. And so uh, how many years would you say you've been a member at this point? Oh, boy, uh, at least 15 years and wow. probably probably more than that through various companies I've worked for. Fantastic. So over those many years, I guess, you know, you've obviously become engaged with a lot of the different research. I mean, what, what is the value you derive from being a, a member of WCRI? Um, sure. There's uh, lots of different kinds of value, but I'd say the one that I really rely on WCRI for is keeping me up to date on what's going on in the work comp industry. So there are, it's a very dynamic environment, as you know, there's a lot Definitely. going on. And emerging trends tend to creep up on you, right? They're not always right. easy to see in your own data. I really rely on WCRI to look at the data, identify the trends, and bring those forward. I have to say the WCRI annual conference is a must attend for me every single year uh, because it really shapes what my priorities for the following year will be. Well, that's, that's, that's so great to know, Carmen. Uh, you know, we do hear that from a lot of members, but it's so wonderful to hear uh, from uh, valued members such as you, and, and that's great. Thank you for uh, mentioning our conference, which is coming up March 5th and 6th. We're going to be in Boston this year, and so we hope uh, a lot of people who might not have attended in the past uh, join us. Um, and so my third question, what is your favorite WSRI study or research area? Uh, there's a ton of research, as you know, Andrew. Uh, I don't think I could pick one favorite. I would say that my favorite is always the latest study. Uh, yeah. Because the latest study, the topical studies in particular, are the ones that really speak to what's going on in the industry. Um, so the ones that have come up lately around medical inflation right. or around comparing group health reimbursement rates with work comp, those create tr tremendous insights for me. There's a lot of power in those insights, and so I really look forward to those. Makes a lot of sense. That's fantastic. Yet in our long COVID is probably another study that's of great interest that um, just released, and we have a webinar coming up uh, in another month. Um, so, so last question for you. Can you describe a moment when WSRI's research was really helpful? Yes, there's a moment that really sticks with me, and it happened 10 years ago, I believe it was. Uh, so I was at the annual conference, and there was uh, a speaker, really a panel of speakers up on the stage. Uh, and they were talking about staggering mortality rates from opioid uh, overdose. Yeah, very um, serious issue. Th this was a sobering moment. If you remember 10 years ago, it's hard to remember kind of what our awareness um, as a, a people was back then. Right. Um, 
but the country wasn't really fully awakened to what was going on with opioids at that point, but the data really demonstrated what was going on. And in work comp, we have so many traumatically injured patients, so many patients at that time on opioids. It was really a call to action to the industry, well ahead of state programs, monitoring programs, legislation around opioids. So I really, this was really the leading edge of managing that problem a little better for the protection of injured workers. Well said. I couldn't agree more. I mean, that was the, that research uh, got a lot of attention from stakeholders, uh, even some of the major newspapers, your New York Times and uh, Wall Street Journal covered it uh, because obviously uh, workers' comp was one avenue that led uh, into the opioid epidemic that we did have. Uh, so, the, yeah, that's well said. Very, as you said, very sobering. Uh, so, Carmen, that was my last question. I mean, anything to say to uh, prospective members? Because this is one of the ways that uh, we tell people about the value of a membership. Anything to say to prospective members? Yeah, I would say if you're on the fence about membership, uh, take the plunge. I would encourage you all day long. You will not regret it. Um, the membership fees are really very uh, short money, if you will, for the insights and the value and the access that you gain. Um, things like the analyst tool when you're a member and a contributor to the database that allow you to analyze your own results internally. I mean, it's really invaluable. Uh, you won't be sorry you did it. Carmen Sharp, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.